Alright, kelas uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, um, so for this class, I just want to elaborate more on the resource pro process that we already discussed last uh, lecture. If you still remember, in uh, last lecture, I already mentioned the research process. So, research process is begin with asking the question, identifying important factors, collecting relevant information, testing the hypothesis, working with the hypothesis, reconsidering the theory, asking the new, theory, uh, new question and repeat the same thing again and again. So, this is the process of research. Right, now. Uh, let me elaborate one by one. Right, uh, asking the question. The most important step is uh, to in doing research, we need to start with asking the question. Right, this is the very beginning of doing the research. Right, in asking the question, we need to identify what is the the needs of doing the research. What is the most important? Uh, what is the current issues? What is the current problem? that we are asking to. Such question might be informally stated. Maybe you are thinking about uh, something that you ask the question informally, right? intended as a source of discussion and stimulus about what direction the specific research topic to be taken. Right? So this one is not really formal. Just uh, maybe you can ask the question in form of uh, focus group. You're just sitting with the, your your group member and asking a question about uh, a certain problem that might be a potential topic for your research. So where do such question come from? It maybe come from the imag imagination. Came from your previous experience and the most important is came from literature and uh, maybe some uh, world, world of science or art or music, right? So the question can be as broad as inquiring about effect of social media on peer groups or as specific as relationship between content of the social media, right? Maybe you can get the the, the question, the idea of the question from the social media as well, right? So, anyhow, asking the question is the very first step in a, any scientific behavior, endeavor, right? So, once you already uh, ask the question, right? So, we need to identify the important factor that related to that question, right? So, next, we need to identify the factor that have been examined to answer the question. For example, uh, let's say uh, we want to uh, study about the adolescent using social media. So we need to identify a factor, a factor that might be effect on social media. Maybe age, gender, ethnicity, level of family, education, access to type of uh, social media and so on. Right? And from this question that you already listed, the, uh, from, from this important factor that you already listed, right? So you need to select the best one, the best factor. What is the best factor? The best factor should be have not been investigated before in the many uh, literature. It will contribute to the understanding of the question that you are asking. Available to investigate. Right? This is the most important part. Must the factor that you are considering into your question should be able, able to investigate. It should be doable. Right? You can get the, the, the data from the factor. And hold some interest for you personally or professionally. Right? In, and then uh, the good factor should lead to another question. Lah. Right, so because the research process is cyclical in nature, so anything you would create a new question is a good research. Right, so then once you already identify the important factor, you should be able to formulate a hypothesis. A hypothesis result when the question are transformed into statement that express the relationship between the variable such as if and then statement. For example, if the question is what 
what effect does using does the uh, adolescent using Facebook have on the development of the friendship? So then, the hypothesis would be the adolescent who use Facebook as their primary means of maintaining social contact have fewer close friends. So this is a several characteristic make some hypothesis better than others lah. So hypothesis basically the objective of uh, extension of the question, right? So hypothesis is an objective extension of the question that was originally posed. So a good hypothesis should pose a question that in a testable form. Testable form means that you can measure that hypothesis. For example, there is uh, so. For example, there are no there are significant relationship between A and B. So we can measure the relationship between A and B, right? And A, the value of A, the factor of B, the factor of A and B should be measurable lah. Then you can do a some statistical analysis and manipulation inside the hypothesis. And again, good question should lead to a good hypothesis which in turn lead to a good study lah, right? Then, once you're already formulating the hypothesis, then you should begin to collect relevant information. Relevant information means the relevant data lah. So, hypothesis should proceed a clear relationship between different factors. For example, correlation between no number of followers and the quality of social skills. So, this is the 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 hypothesis right after formulating hypothesis dex is the information uh, to be collected right and the data the the data that will confirm and refute the hypothesis lah the data that will support the uh, the variable or factor in the hypothesis so if you are, for example, if you are interested in whether or not participating in my social media has an impact on adolescent social media skills, the kind of data that will allow the hypothesis to be tested should must be collected. Lah. Right? Uh, collecting uh, relevant information is also an important point about testing hypothesis that you should, you should, you should set out to test them. Right, not only to prove them means that hypothesis is meant to test. Right, you should be able to test the hypothesis, not to prove that hypothesis is correct or not by theoretical assumption on on some uh, or whatever. Right. So next, uh, once you already collect the relevant information, you should test the hypothesis lah. So to test the hypothesis, you need to you need to master some. Uh, statistical uh, skills this is what we call as inferential statistics so inferential statistics is a set of tools that allow researchers to separate the effect of an isolated factor from a different between group that might be owing to some other factor or to nothing other than by chance right so it's not a coincidence to get uh, group A is better than group B, right? We need to prove it by uh, scientific evidence, which is uh, using inferential statistics, right? <clears throat> so once you're already testing the hypothesis, you need to work with the hypothesis. So once the data are, have been collected, uh, have been collected, then have uh, tested by the hypothesis as a good scientist, you cannot, you you are now can sit down, put your feet, look intellectual, and examine the result. Examine the result means that you need to uh, interpret the result in a layman understandable. Right? If the data confirm your hypothesis, then the importance of the factor will hypothesize to be related and conceptually important where born out and you can go on to a merry way while the scientific and next scientific evidence is being planted. Right? If the hypothesis is not confirmed, it may very well to be a time for learning something, something that was not known previously. So you need to ask a new question. 
new question coming out when uh, the hypothesis is not confirmed right for example you are expecting there is a relationship between a and b so now when you test your hypothesis there are no relationship between a and b then you need to ask again whether the sample sample size collected is sufficient or not whether your sampling techniques is, is a good uh, or not right you need to test and ask again and again <clears throat> now after that you need to reconsidering the theory finally it's time to take stock and relate all this research effort to what guides our work in the first place which is the theory as a good scientist are always trying to see what type of break or new information fit where and fit uh, or fit all this is in this way the new knowledge can change or modify the way that the theory appear and what it is say to the about the human behavior lah. so reconsidering theory considering the theory means that you're going to ask a new question so finally you're going to ask a new question right ask a new question means this is the last step in the simple model of scientific inquiry right you need to ask a new question about the, the hypothesis about the new theory the theory that you have re-evaluate right so it might be a simple variation to the theme right but it's basically is the hardest it's a very important thing to 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 be done in research right seeking a new question try to answer a new question right i think that's all for a brief uh, research process i think uh, that's it that's it and we will look into the next uh, section thank you very much assalamualaikum